All right, everyone. Welcome back. It's been a while. Welcome to today's episode of Beach House Garage. And on today's episode, we are going to be working in my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And we're doing some new exhaust. Now, we're not going to be doing like a typical um, exhaust that most people would think. We're going to be doing little, little slash pipes. I want the rubble, I want the noise, I want the fun, but I don't want the weight. So, without further ado, let's get to work because it's Beachy House Garage. Now, on today's episode, again, like I was saying, we're going to swap out the exhaust on this bike. But we want you guys to see the overall look and feel of the stock one versus the new stuff that's coming that's going to be popping out. I actually got to open the box and give you guys a quick um, thing here. And um, on the description below, don't forget that they'll have, I'll have a link to the pipes that I got. We're going to give you a sound demo of three different steps. Number one, stock. Okay. Number two, straight pipe. Number three, with the actual tips on. So we'll give you guys a demo on all three, and then at the end of the video, we'll do a very quick comparison, one, two, three, and then we'll see if I have enough time and I can do a road uh, comparison as well. So uh, first things first, let's do stock. Now stock, uh, from where we are now, from here to here, is roughly about five, five and a half feet from where the microphone sits, okay? I'm gonna give it an idle, and then a rev and we're going to rev it up to about 4,000 to 5,000 rpms for you guys watching with headsets or speakers just a heads up keep your volume down it will be loud this microphone is very sensitive to noises so it will pick up very loud noises very clearly pre-warned Currently idling around a thousand RPM. It's about twelve hundred. So we're idling about twelve hundred to fourteen hundred RPMs right now. Because the bike is cold, FYI. So listen to it. Alright. Now we're gonna rev the bike up to 4,000. Back to idle. Then we're going to straight pipe it and see how that works out. So on this part of the video, we're going to show you guys how to remove the factory exhaust. And we're going to listen to the bike with zero exhaust or zero mufflers on the end. On these bikes, the catalytic converters are actually built into the mufflers. That's why they're super heavy and they do a ton of noise reduction. So we're going to remove them and we're going to listen to the bike with no mufflers. Okay. All right, so with a 12 millimeter socket and wrench, you're gonna wanna take off this bolt right here and the one right underneath here with a 12 millimeter, that's it, all right? So once you take the two bolts off, you have a chrome cover as well. Be careful, we just ran the bike, so it's gonna be pretty hot, but it shouldn't be that bad. and kind of shimmy them left and right. Open the chrome cover, it comes off with it.
So the chrome cover has to come off before the muffler does. With the chrome cover removed, there you go. Slides right off. So you'll see here how tiny the actual pipes are. They're not very large um, in comparison to what these things exaggerate them size to be. So just a heads up. And the reason why they have so much, they're cats. You see inside there is a catalytic converter. That's why they're so heavy and that's why they're so expensive to replace. So you guys want to rinse and repeat the other side and then we're going to give you guys a sound demo with just straight pipes. All right, full straight pipe, no mufflers, no cats, pre-warning everybody, turn the volume down. These suckers get loud, FYI, and I'm excited for it. So without further ado, let's fire it up. Currently, we're at idle, all right? Pretty loud. We're gonna rev it. Holy smoke, that's loud. Whoo! <laughs> so that's straight pipe. All right, guys. That's straight pipe by idle and up to 4,000, just a little over 5,000 RPMs. That is ridiculously loud. I'm actually excited to see what the pipes are going to do now. They have a little bit of a muffler on the inside, but not my much. So be ready for that. All right. So, uh,. These are the new pipes here. And these are armored exhaust system for the Interceptor 60, uh, 650, part number X003S9QLT2H uh, from a company called Armored. Uh, made in the USA, about 220 bucks, brand new. Um, I don't know if these are worth 220 bucks, but since it's an American company, I gladly supported and paid 200 bucks for it. Uh, and I'm hoping that the end results are going to be amazing. So, without further ado, I already slid it open here, so we're going to break this box open. Um, let's see. These are nice. I'll tell you that. Ooh. So you'll see here the laser engraved armored. They kind of color matched it to the shock, which was shocking to me because I don't like that color at all. It makes no sense on this bike besides the crown on the on the actual tank has that color, but I'm not a fan, but whatever, you know, but I like how hefty this is. Um, they got the little weeping hole down here. The clamp is there for us to clamp it down, so we'll see. Now, I'm gonna check on their website really quick on which way they would like these faced. Personally, I want them facing outwards like this, the pipe facing that way, but the cut here, you'll see there's a cut, that cut kind of like loses, it's there, I don't like that. You literally just slide on.
probably if I keep them like that. No way to retain the factory chrome bracket, which is okay. You know, from what I can see, the cut, this cut right here wants me to turn it like full down like that. So the slashes are facing out like that, which again, I'm okay with. Not the look I was looking for, but I'm okay with that. <coughs> I like the branding sitting out, you know, with the American flag on it. I'm cool with that. Let's see, I got the other one. Exactly. Doesn't the other one doesn't have it, just heads up. Doesn't have it, just has the you know product armored exhaust system, stainless steel. Um so just heads up. It only has it etched on one side. So I'm not gonna tie them down, like bolt them all the way down. I'm just gonna do a quick sound test at idle, and then we're gonna do a sound test at uh, 4,000, uh, 5,000 RPMs really quick. So currently we are at idle. Doesn't sound half bad at all. It's a lot quieter than just straight pipe. Just a heads up. A lot quieter. Gotta rev it. Four to five thousand. Not gonna lie, that sounds very good. So I'm sticking with that. I'm impressed just by the sound they make right off the bat. So now I'm gonna set up my camera, um, and see if we can get it going, and do a, uh, a road drive, uh, a road test with the audio. Maybe a quick flyby with the camera stationary, and then we'll have it on the bike itself and see how it sounds as well. Let me get everything nicely dialed in by bolting it all back on and we'll move forward with that. See you guys in a bit. Thank you for watching this episode of Pinch House Garage. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for more content with Royal Enfield and motorcycles in general, plus Volkswagens. I mean, how are we not going to do VWs? Just a heads up, hopefully you guys have been watching and following. We've been teaching kids here all about automotive technology and motorcycles. So. If you like to support what we do and keep supporting what we do and help us grow, don't forget to subscribe and like, please. Peace out, everyone. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Don't forget in the link uh, down below, the description down below, there's a link to these pipes 
And we have a whole lot more modifications coming for this Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So stay tuned for so much more content to come. Peace out. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. And as always, if you see your mama, give her a big hug for me and from yourself as well because you never know. Peace out, everyone.